How to make money on Pinterest. Making money on Pinterest is so easy, we don't know why more people aren't doing it. You can get started today with no upfront costs. Rather than looking at Pinterest as a simple photo sharing network, consider it as a global bulletin board. For those of you that haven't looked at Pinterest, it's basically like a giant pin board. Each pin is an image with a link. People can click on this image and visit a site it came from. Here's some stats for you. More than 14 million articles are pinned each day. 85% of Pinterest users use the site when they want to start a new project. 64% of Pinterest users describe the platform as the place to find ideas, products or services they can trust. 71% of Pinterest users are female. In 2019, Pinterest generated 1.3 billion US dollars in advertising. There are over 175 billion ideas on Pinterest. 83% of weekly pinners have made a purchase based on content they saw from brands on Pinterest. 72% of pinners use Pinterest to decide what they want to buy. So you can see just from these few stats that to disregard Pinterest is to cut off a huge number of potential customers. As I said, each pin is an image with a link. People can click on the image to visit where it came from. So you should be able to see already the possibilities of how you can use Pinterest. First of all, you obviously need a Pinterest account. If you already have a personal account, that's great, but I would recommend setting up a business account as well. Keep those separate if you post things on your personal account that aren't relevant to your business, as this will confuse people. However, if this isn't the case, use your account, especially if you have already grown a good following. If you want to convert your existing personal account to a business account, this is free and very easy to do. A Pinterest business account just gives you a few extra features like basic stats and analytics. You don't need to be a business to have a business account either. Pinterest is often referred to as a social network, but the truth is it's more like a big search engine. People go to Pinterest to look for ideas and especially to look for things to buy. If a pin gets picked up and gets a lot of repins, shares, you will keep showing up in people's feeds without any more effort on your part. So, how can you make money on Pinterest? There are many ways to make money with Pinterest and as the network continues to grow, your opportunities will grow too. If you have a passion for something, build an audience and sell to them. Hobby pins are one of the most popular subjects on Pinterest. So it's an obvious first step for you to make money if you have a hobby where you can sell things. Be that painting, pottery, making clothes, the list is endless. Pin images of your work and direct people to either your e-commerce site, be that your website or maybe Shopify or Etsy. Other things people are passionate about can also make money. If you love being fit and staying fit, you can choose to target this type of audience. Youngsters in their 20s who want to be fit. People wanted to build muscle. You know the market, so creating a Pinterest account and pins that attract this audience can lead you on to either picking up local clients for a fitness one-to-one -one workout or maybe directing them to a fitness video or blog series that you created. Get followers to your Pinterest page and create a mailing list. Just like any other marketing, a mailing list is essential, so it's worth spending time to build. Popular Pinterest users have a million followers, but don't worry, you don't need that many followers to your account to sell to your audience. Go for sponsorship. Build a Pinterest following in a certain niche, then select companies offering products that appeal to your audience. Again, it will take time, and you need to really think about the area you want to pin about. Work out when and how often you want to post, and if you have enough material to post that often. Once you've built up a good following, several thousand maybe, then you can approach a business and ask them for sponsorship. Look at smaller companies first and offer them a deal. If they haven't got a following on Pinterest, then it could open up a whole new market for them, and it could be a start of you making money. Affiliate products. We all know how affiliate marketing works. Check out our other videos to find out more. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like and hit the bell to see our other videos every Thursday. Basically, however, affiliate marketing works. You just select a product or service from one of the many websites that offer affiliate businesses.
share the link they give you, and when people buy via that link, you get a percentage. Here at Business with Joe, we use ClickBank, but you could also use Amazon affiliates, although they give a smaller percentage than other companies. Find affiliate companies that sell products you can promote and work alongside your Pinterest channel. Then promote the product on your boards using your affiliate links. A word of warning. Periodically, Pinterest takes action against affiliate marketing spammers. Rather than putting affiliate links actually on Pinterest, why not direct them to your website where you can then use affiliate links? Make money by teaching Pinterest to others. Many businesses still don't use Pinterest to sell their products, so there is potential to help companies and for you to make money teaching this. Obviously, you need to have a successful Pinterest page yourself, but once you've built one, why not sell your knowledge to others by teaching them your strategies? You can either do this as a premium one-to-one -one course or start a course on platforms like Teachable. This is a great passive income. Another is to write eBooks and sell it on Amazon and other platforms. Use SEO to be found on Pinterest. People have to be able to find your pins and boards, so use SEO strategies. Not only will you be found on Pinterest, you'll also be found via major search engines like Google. Use SEO strategies for your pins. Each pin allows up to 500 characters, about 100 words, of description. So make the most of it by adding keywords and links. Include keywords naturally rather than in a spammy way. Make the most of your about profile. You get 200 characters, around about 50 words. Be descriptive and again use keywords you'd expect searchers to use. Create contests on Pinterest to sell your products. As we've mentioned, there are millions of posts every day being pinned. So you need ways to be heard above this traffic, especially if you are a small brand selling your own products. Consider creating contests. They're popular and can help you make money. However, check Pinterest guidelines when running a contest, otherwise you could be in trouble. Repin other pins. As we've already said, Pinterest is like a social network. So the easiest way to get people to repin your pins is to be active. Just like other social media platforms, you need to be able to interact with other users, such as pinning other pins, particularly those in your target audience. They will notice you and may even start following your boards. As you can see, there are some great opportunities to grow your brand, build a following, and ultimately make money on Pinterest. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to look out for the next one in this series. Please remember to subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Good luck with earning money, guys, and remember you can have results or excuses, but you can't have both.